Ten Steps to Thin Mountain by Thomas Ligotti Read by Jeff Clark 1. One day I saw it on a very old map, Thin Mountain. No elevation was noted. In my mind vague images began to form. I set the map aside and closed my eyes. Then there was a sudden commotion, the kind that may start up any place, whether on a train rocking along its tracks or just around an old bench somewhere. A group of people ran by me, waving their arms and making odd noises. What was it that suddenly made me reach for the old map, only to find it was gone? And I just sat there wondering what things were like on Thin Mountain. 2. No one knows all the legends inspired by Thin Mountain, but there are a few I've recently picked up. That its atmosphere will turn you into a raving visionary in a matter of hours. That after a few days you experience strange yearnings that are impossible to fulfill. That long-time residents become immortal and after death walk the mountain woods as skeletons. What can you expect from here, say? But one thing is certain among these conjectures. No one wants to give Thin Mountain a chance. 3. Only one way to Thin Mountain. Absolute madness. There is no pretense to esoteric knowledge in this statement. It is simple enough. Once you find that no one will vouch for your sanity, that is when you know you are making progress. You have become wayward. To be at eye level with the world leads nowhere. When your gaze slips off the horizontal, though, hope becomes part of the equation. A grinning dwarf beckons you from the ledge of a tall building. Gargoyles perched on cathedrals angle their snouts in your direction. And before you know it, you're lying around on Thin Mountain. 4. Not all that I have discovered about Thin Mountain is glamorous. Despite a great deal of picturesque scenery, floating strands of mists, crooked trees, fabulous finger-like peaks. This region contains more than a few perils. One of them is a solitude fit only for fanatics of exile, their eyes always draining the distances. Another is a wind which seems to be composed of countless tiny voices, the chattering populace of an invisible universe. The half-lit days and the sorcery of its nights, Moments in which nothing moves and others in which everything stirs ceaselessly. But what would you expect from a place called Thin Mountain? 5. Once I heard the words Thin Mountain spoken in a crowd. Did I say that I saw who said them? I did not. It could have been anyone standing along the platform waiting for the train to arrive. The same day someone threw himself under that train. He was cut in half. But what a happy expression was plastered on the face of that corpse. Thin mountain. I couldn't help crying out in front of everyone. But as I suspected, no one came forward to confront me. 6. Not once but a thousand times have I wished to dwell forever on Thin Mountain, even at the price of my mental balance, even at the cost of my miserable life. No happiness except on those peaks. 7. One morning I awoke and the pain in my head was worse than ever. I had to cover my eyes. The light coming through my window was so bright. Only the thought of Thin Mountain brought me any relief. 8. There is no secret, I now realize, concerning the existence of Thin Mountain. It seems everyone has known about it all along. I hear them discussing it everywhere. Thin Mountain, yes. Thin Mountain, certainly. 9. On Thin Mountain no one talks about Thin Mountain. 10. The train will be here soon.